Well, good afternoon, friends and neighbors. It's time now for a little how-to video. We're going to return to the world of wireless for this one. And this week, I think we're going to take a look at some wireless packet capture. I know that a bunch of you have been having some trouble getting OmniPeak up and running, so we're just going to run over some of the issues real quick here. So first up, I want to show you that I have a couple of wireless adapters. We can see here that I've got my Linksys. WUSB 600N, so that's uh, that's the one that we don't use too much in the labs anymore, but I happen to have one here. I also have my built-in wireless adapter, and you can see that I'm on a Windows box. So first up, let's take a look at Wireshark. One of the basic problems that we have with Wireshark on Windows is the inability to capture wireless frames. And So we'll take a quick look here at my interfaces, and we can see that I've got a couple of wireless interfaces and whoa let's go back over here again and I could pick either one of these let me see let's make sure we got uh, we don't have an extra capture going I was fooling around with this earlier yeah I guess we're okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start a capture and we don't care about this one and I'm fooling around with IP version 6 here too, and so we'll we'll just let this guy go. Maybe. Eh, there we go. So we'll let this run for a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just stop this and, and grab a grab one of my frames here. And right away we see our problem. If we take a look at this particular capture, this is clearly not grabbing uh, wireless frames. It's grabbing Ethernet frames. And that's the basic problem. The, the Wireshark software gets to the NIC after the drivers are already done with it. And so that's our basic problem. So when you're on a Windows machine anyway, and you're trying to use Wireshark to capture wireless frames and you see lots of stuff happening but you're not getting what you need it's probably because you're grabbing Ethernet frames and that's a basic problem that we have uh, if you move to Linux you can do Wireshark Wi-Fi or something like that uh, you can put your NICs in promiscuous mode and you can capture frames that way but since I'm not on Linux we've chosen to, to solve this particular problem a different way so since I'm done with Wireshark here I'm just gonna get rid of it we don't need this anymore uh, I am going to take a look now at our other packet capture software, and that's Wild Pi Packets OmniPeak. If you're a packet kind of guy like I am, OmniPeak is very, very powerful. They have some demos, or they have had in the past. I will tell you that OmniPeak is, is expensive, but we've got it in the labs. Uh, so I'm just going to use my quick demo here. By the way, if I show you wireless packet captures, I'll either use Wild Packets OmniPeak on the wireless side, or um, I will show you how to do Wireshark Wi-Fi. Now, the other other thing that uh, we use Wild Packets for, or OmniPeak, we do it for a lot of VoIP stuff, uh, but you can use it for anything that you can use Wireshark for, and it's a very very powerful tool when compared to to Wild Pack, or to uh, to Wireshark. Not that I want to put Wireshark down at all. I love Wireshark, but here we go. All right, so I'm going to go up here to my capture menu. I'm going to say, let's do some captures here. And we'll pick an adapter. But we can see here that because we're trying to solve this problem of getting to the packets uh, before they're converted to Ethernet, I need to have a different driver. When I take a look at my wireless connections here, okay, right here right there I see that the wild packets API is not present and that's our issue we need to change the drivers for these guys so that we can actually capture packets so I'm going to show you the right way and the wrong way to do this so first we'll do it the wrong way so the wrong way to do this is to just minimize uh, OmniPeak so I'm going to go over here to my Linksys and I'm going to go to properties and we'll go to configure and we'll see that I've got a driver tab so what I need to do is update my driver 
and we do not want to let Windows try and figure this out for itself. Usually a bad idea and I'm going to pick the list of drivers that I want. Now I already have this driver on my machine so I know the one that I want. It's this guy here but a dead giveaway is that I've got a wild packets driver installed here. Alright so we're going to just let this cook and I'll do it real time for you. So here we go waiting for Windows to install the driver. And we're still waiting. There we go. I'm very enthusiastic. Windows is doing something. There we have it. Alright, so now I've got this new driver installed. And I and uh, no, I'm not gonna I don't believe you, so I'm not gonna restart my computer. Alright, so now if I come over here and take a look at OmniPeak and I go, ah, cool, I've changed my driver. So I go to Start Capture and I pick my adapters and I find out that, oh, no matter what I pick here, I don't have the OmniPeak uh, driver installed. OmniPeak still thinks that I don't have the Wild Packets API. So really what I need to do is restart OmniPeak. All right, so I've closed out OmniPeak. I didn't want to reboot my machine. So what I'm going to do is just go in here. Oops. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to disable this adapter and re-enable it. Now a lot of times when you install a driver like this, it'll actually deactivate the adapter and leave it shut off. So we might have to play around just a little bit, but oops. I lost you. Where'd you go? There you are. <clears throat> so let's go to our list of adapters. And here we have it. So the icon has changed a little bit. So all I did was I didn't have to reboot. I went in here and I disabled and then re-enabled the adapter. And right now we can see that I do in fact have my wild packets API installed. So I should be able to start capturing packets right now. So I've just changed the window to the, the packets and I can actually go up here again and start the capture there or I've got this nice big green button over here. And so now I've got my packets. So let's grab an individual packet here. Oh let's pick something like a uh, we'll pick a little baby acknowledgement frame. All right, now just like Wireshark, we've got this packet info. We don't actually care about that, but here we have it. This is your indication that we actually have an 802.11 um, frame. You've got your type and subtype here, and then these frame control flags that are all part of the header. And maybe we'll show you a beacon. Now we don't actually care about the contents of the beacon, but here we've got management, we've got the beacon, we've got our frame control flags. These are all those single bit fields that you've talked about in class or that we've talked to you about occasionally here on the channel. And then another dead giveaway that we've got our three in use MAC addresses, which of course is different than in Ethernet header. Okay, so just to, to sort of re capture uh, what we've done today. Remember that you, if you're on a Windows machine and you're trying to capture wireless frames, we have this very basic problem of Wireshark getting to the frames after they've already been hit by the NIC and the drivers already been run. And so Wireshark doesn't install new drivers for your NIC. And so a lot of times we convert those 802.11 frames to Ethernet. So if you can't see things like acknowledgments, beacons, probe requests, probe response, and other types of wireless frames, it's because you haven't got a driver installed that's allowing Wireshark to see that. And again, we can fix that when we move over to Linux distros or things like that. Um, just as a, to tell you where I'm coming from on this, my version of Wireshark is this guy here. So we're doing 1.10.5. So at least at this version, Wireshark doesn't do it, and I'm running Windows 7 here. So we run OmniPeak from Wild Packets. And you can go out there and see a little bit more about these folks, but 
Even here, I had to actually change the driver so that OmniPeak could pick up the wireless frames. All right, and your indication that you've got the right driver here is that yeah, let's try that again. Your indication that you have the right driver is that when you select your adapter you can see that you have the wild packets API. Sometimes you'll have to restart your machine, sometimes you can just get away with disabling and then re-enabling it, uh, but that important step has got to be there. And lastly, when you're trying to find the right driver or the updated driver for your machine, don't let Windows choose. You have to do it manually. Well, I think that'll about do it, everybody. Thanks very much for listening. Thanks very much for watching, and may your packets always reach their destinations.